Abby, don't move. If we act like we can't see them, maybe they will believe it. David, what are you? Five years old? You can't seriously think that Jurassic Park logic will work here. Well, we can hope, right? If we don't talk to them, maybe they'll scurry away. Bumblebee, we want them to know we're friendly, don't we? Yeah, but they're not supposed to- Ah, we've grown up. Mini bomb. See us. Ba weep grana. Weep mini bomb. <sighs> what are you doing, strong arm? What? It's the universal greeting. Rodimus Tommy. It's for situations like this. That greeting only works for class six intelligent life forms and above. Wheeljack said they only just reached level five. Ooh. Greetings. We. Come in peace? Hey there, I'm Abby, and you are? I am Cadet Strongarm of the Autobot Resistance. If you couldn't tell by looking at us, we're not from around here. We come from a planet called a Cybertron, and in a galaxy far from this one. Way to go and throw it all out there, Strongarm. Better than threatening them with your pistol. Hey! Wow, really? Okay, I have about a hundred questions, so where can I start? Great. So she's just like you. Hey, hey, hey! Be nice to the little one. Oh, and also, get back. <laughs> Maybe we should just get out of here, Abby. Whoa, ho, ho! Slow down, Tiny! Don't you want to meet the rest of us? Wait, there's more of your kind? You think they'd just send me and Grouchy Bolt here? <laughs> no way. Come on, we'll give you a grant to her. Strong arm. Please don't tell me that you're really going to bring them back to the Ark. So that's what you call that giant ship? Perfect! Even Scaredy Bolts over here is interested now. David loves this kind of stuff. It's been his hobby his whole life, and now his job. Well then come on over, little guy. Oh, for Primus' sake. I might as well be here to protect them from Wheeljack, at least. <laughs> My servos! They are tiny, yes. But they have some very high-end technology for a world of only level 5 intelligence. It doesn't make any sense! And how much damage could that do to us? Not much from just one. But multiple hits from all sides from some of their stronger weapons could hurt. So, we have nothing to worry about, right? For now... No, but we have to stay vigilant. Let's get back to base and tell Lord Megatron of our findings. You know, if I could just convince David to join, he would greatly increase efficiency in our communication department for the project. Well, Mike, until he says yes, Project Diaclone is put on hold. We have no way of communicating with them at this stage. Uh, I'll give him a call again. Maybe this time he'll say yes. Mike, he's your stepson. He respects you. Shouldn't that be enough? Alright. Just so you know, Prime can be really intimidating. He's been through a lot of scrap. He doesn't mean to come off scary. But just so you know, deep down, he is really really a softie. Believe it or not, so have we. Been through a lot of crap, I mean. Well, mainly you. Hey, B. Strongarm. Took you too long enough. Where you been? And here we go. Scrap! 
Stay behind me, you two. You two were gone longer than expected. What kept you? <sighs> you know what? Talk to the cadet. Hey, everyone. How's everyone settling in? How do you think? Give us a hand, would you? We still have a ton of scanning arrays to set up. What took you so long anyway? Oh! And here we go. You already brought two of them back with you? Well, I mean, we were exploring, and you said no life forms would be way out here, and... Greetings, friends. We come in peace. I am David, and this is my little sister, Abby. Look at them. I could crush them with a slight glitch in my grasp servo. Hey, we have names, you know. Hey there, short stuff. Mind if I run a few tests? Hey, what are you doing? Bumblebee, the mission was to gain intelligence of our current surroundings, not announce yourselves to the world. Remember, hidden in plain sight. Prime, I promise I had no intention of doing any of this. They just caught us off guard. Save it, Bumblebee. You must be the boss. Hi. Well, no intimidation factor in your senses. Sweet. Strong arm, you have exposed us to these life forms in less than four nanocycles. What do you have to say for yourself, cadet? We didn't mean to intrude, sir. We were just exploring the woods nearby and happened to see your ship land. Oh, perfect! If they saw us, then everyone probably did! It wasn't that hard to find you with all that noise you were making. Well, if Teltran 1 hadn't had us coming in so fast... Hey, watch it, Hound. I know my baby has a few bugs, but I'll get her running in tip-top shape in no time. Strong arm, take them back to where they belong. Hey, you can't show up here and start bossing us around. Hey now, show some respect. He is a prime. And what exactly is a prime? Sorry for her attitude, she's new to the whole chains of command thing. This one is coming up with some sort of soldier history prime. And with quite a reputation Hey, how do you already know that about him? We hacked the internet. Whatever this interplanetary information network is called. You had it right the first time, smart guy. The internet. All right, enough engine aching. Get them out of here. But Prime, what if they go and tell the whole world about us? The Decepticons would just start causing problems for all of us. The war would just get them involved. Wait, what are Decepticons? And what war? Great. Now they know more about what we're doing here. Nice job, cadet. shang already said it. You'll all need a guide around here. Well, you got two loyal ones ready to serve. I would be curious to know more about all this elegant nature. I could learn quite a few things from these two. We need a way to mine energy on without corrupting the planet's environment. And you think they can help with that? They would know what could explode here. This planet is alien to us. And maybe this one could help us get inside with his officials. Maybe a faster way to finding the Allspark. <sighs> the life forms. They are smaller than the sound. Long lost pets. Unless attacked by multitudes of them alone, they stand no chance of causing us a problem or harm. So, they have no real forms of defense, do they? A few mech suits, but nothing we can't handle. We took a few images of what we saw. Those do look different than what I was seeing. In their average settlements, it was nothing more than regular road transportation for two to five of those meat bags. Nothing more than something for me to blow away with my favorite missiles. <laughs> Decepticons, proceed with your operations. We will continue our search for the Allspark and the Autobots. Knockout. I want a status report in 10 nanoclicks. 
But of course, almighty Megatron. <laughs> Soundwave, may I borrow you for a moment? Go, Soundwave. See what he needs. David, Abby, being that it's too late to send you two away now, we may as well get to know each other better. I was thinking the same thing, big guy. <laughs> Fifteen cycles ago, I'm sorry, one thousand Earth years ago, Cybertron's former leadership, the Prime Council, betrayed Cybertron and her people. What started as a peaceful rally slowly turned into a power struggle between the Autobots and the Decepticons. We are the Autobots, of course. What? Megatron was trying to lead his Decepticons to a brighter future, where they would have rights and a say in how things were run in society. When the Primes wanted nothing to be different for them, they threw the Decepticons in stockades and began to kill them mercilessly, leading to a war breaking out. The Decepticons began a path of tyranny. The only way Megatron could see change is if he ruled while the Autobots were his slaves. Generations of light lost. Friends never to be seen again. I know all about that. I've just finished my tour of serving my country for the past six years. Just got back from the front lines a few months ago. So, you're a soldier. Pardon me asking, but if that Prime Council started this war, what does that make you? Now I told you to watch it, Fleshling. It's okay, Springer. Yes, Abby, I am also a Prime and was a member of that Council. The only difference between them and I is that I knew Cybertron's people both Autobot and Decepticon, and knew that the current order needed change. As my mentor Alpha Tryon always said, freedom is the right of all sentient beings. I knew Cybertron was not free. Optimus turned the tide of the war. Without him, Cybertron would have been lost to Megatron Deca cycles ago. So why are you here then? If Cybertron's being taken over, why come all this way? During the beginning days of the war, the Primes thought it would be better to launch the Allspark into the depths of space than letting Megatron get a hold of it. Smart plan, Prime Council. The only source on our planet that produced life and resources to sustain it, sent off to the stars. Great plan. And now that life source is here, huh? Without it, Cybertron is dying. That is why it is imperative we find it before the Decepticons. And what happens if they get their hands on it? The Allspark has the power to turn any ordinary machine into a Cybertronian-like being, not unlike ourselves. If in the wrong hands, they could create an army to take over the entire galaxy. So let me guess, so the Decepticons are here as well? We just know that they left at the same time as we did. That's why we're trying to keep this down low. Strong arm is right. David and Abby, if your world was to know about us now, it could lead the Decepticons to strike, causing nothing but chaos. Your secret's safe with us, Optimus. Great. Does that mean they can leave? Now that they know about the location of the Ark and our history, it could only lead to more chaos if the Decepticons were to find them. So, where are we bunking? <laughs>